Equipment groups. Equipment groups are used to group instruments into different work areas. These work areas are named by you, the admin, or any user that you designate that can create equipment groups. To access the equipment groups, we go up to the Equipment tab, and when we click on it, the first option that we see is Equipment Groups. When we click on Equipment Groups, it will bring up a current listing of all equipment groups that are under our account. If I need to add a new equipment group, I click on Add Subgroup underneath All Equipment Groups. This will give me a place where I can name the instrument grouping. For this one, I'm going to use Confined Space. So now all my meters that my people will use for confined space will be underneath this group. As I come down the list, I will then find my confined space group. And on the right hand side, I will see three options, edit, delete, and assign. To assign instruments to this group, we are gonna click on assign. It will then bring up all of our listing of equipment. From here, I will be able to find my instruments that I need to add into this group and add them by clicking on the checkbox next to their serial number. Once I find the ones that I want into this group, I can click OK, and it will add those instruments into this group. If I find that I need to edit the name of this group, I can come over to the right hand side, click on Edit, and it will bring up the name of the equipment group and also where the parent equipment group is for this grouping. I can change that name, I can say confine spaces if I need to, or if I want to just leave it as it is, I can say cancel or OK if I put it back to the way it was. We'll say cancel at this time, and it'll take us back. If I delete the equipment group, it will remove all the instruments from this group and put them back up into the all unassigned group. Equipment groups can be used for many different types of groupings. This is just a small example of what sometimes people will use them for.